Couple of months ago, the astronomers made a groundbreaking discovery that has made everyone question our current understanding and knowledge about the space and the universe. The object that was discovered is unbelievably massive and it is located at the heart of the galaxy 2.7 billion light years away from us. We are talking about a supermassive, no, an ultra massive black hole that was discovered recently. This is the Universe Factory and in today's video, we will try to answer some important questions like how did the astronomers find out the mass of this black hole or how it was discovered without it actually being visible and being so distant. Finally and most importantly, how is this discovery so much important for the field of astronomy? Are you constantly curious about the universe? Did you need the big questions answered? Then do subscribe to the Universe Factory and press the bell icon next to it for more such videos as this one. You may follow us on social media platforms so that you won't miss any of our thought-provoking content that is posted regularly. Make sure to check out the description for their links. So today's video is all about the discovery of an ultra-massive black hole that is 32 billion times as massive as our own sun. It has an event horizon, the point of no return that spans with the diameter of about 1300 times the distance between the sun and the earth. To put this in perspective, if we place this black hole at the center of our solar system where our sun is, its edge would lie beyond the interstellar space. It was discovered using the strong gravitational lensing caused by the brightest cluster galaxy or BCG known as the Abel 1201. In gravitational lensing, the light from the distant galaxy bends around the massive object that is in front of it with a tremendous gravitational field. Because of this, the galaxy looks a bit distorted for an observer. Gravitational lensing has become an important aspect for astronomers to see and study distant galaxies and stars by magnifying their light. The team of the astronomers could determine the size of the black hole by analyzing the magnification of the foreground object in a series of images taken by the Hubble Space Telescope. Using sophisticated computer modeling, the scientists were able to simulate how much light bends around the foreground galaxy where the black hole resides. They tested thousands of black hole sizes before arriving at a solution that matched the observations. The black hole located in one of the galaxies of the Abel 1201 galaxy cluster is the first discovered using this technique. Now let's consider this image. Here you can see three important things. In the central bright region is a galaxy that acts like a lens to distort and magnify the distant galaxy. About the central bright region can be seen a giant arc. This primary arc is the distorted image of background galaxy that is being lensed. Below the central region is the smaller arc which is also the distorted image of the background galaxy. In the subtracted image, have a look at the middle column where the central bright region is subtracted, keeping only the primary arc along with the smaller arc. In the third column, the subtracted image shows the enlarged smaller arc which is the most important part of the entire image. The primary arc was discovered several years ago with an estimated mass of the black hole being around 25 billion solar masses. But the presence of the smaller arc which is a counter image of the primary arc indicates something truly remarkable of this system. This smaller arc hints that there must be more mass present. But what does exactly this mean? It suggests the presence of a supermassive black hole at the center that led to the distortion of a smaller arc creating that peculiar shape. After multiple simulations that were conducted with various masses, the astronomers concluded that the estimated true mass of this black hole to be 32.7 billion solar masses. It is definitely huge and classified as an ultra-massive black hole. This black hole is the first discovered using the technique of gravitational lensing. This technique is very important to study black holes that are not very much active, meaning such black holes do not engulf too much material to produce X-ray radiation. Such black holes are nearly impossible to study using any other techniques. Gravitational lensing makes it possible to study inactive black holes, something which is not currently possible in distant galaxies. 
This approach could let us detect many more black holes beyond our local universe and reveal how these exotic objects evolved further back in cosmic time. So there you go about the recently discovered ultra massive black hole. What do you think about it? Let us know in the comment section below. Also if you found this video helpful, please subscribe to the Universe Factory and follow us on social media platforms. We will be back with yet another super interesting video for you soon. Till then, keep looking up.